Good afternoon. It's Monday. It's April the 19th. We are risen with Christ. Paul wrote to the Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1, If you then have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. We may in the next couple of days talk about more in this scripture, uh, Colossians 3, 1, but I want to focus uh, for today just for a moment on raised with Christ. You know, as believers and followers of Jesus, we celebrate the fact of Christ's resurrection. As we read the Bible, there are some things in Scripture that may be easier to identify with, easier to understand and apply to life than other things we read. We understand Christ's death was for the sins of all mankind. He died for us. He died on our behalf to forgive sin. But we should remember that it's the resurrection that gives us power to live in victory for him as his people. Paul said to the Romans in chapter 6 and verse 4, We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. So we participate in the, in the symbolic burial of the old man, uh, with resurrection, with uh, baptism, and then we celebrate resurrection coming up out of the water. We understand that. Paul said two verses later in Romans six six, we're crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. So as we're risen with Christ, as we read from Colossians three one at the beginning, and other places in Scripture, we see Romans chapter six that we read, Ephesians chapter two. We know that resurrection is an inward resurrection. The body of sin is destroyed. Christ lives in us. But our bodily resurrection is also guaranteed by Christ's bodily, physical resurrection from the dead. So unless the rapture takes us to heaven when we die, should we physically die, and we all will unless we go to heaven in the rapture, we'll be resurrected physically on that day of the rapture of the church. Paul said to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 14, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus. So we're, we're going to experience resurrection unless we go to heaven in, in the rapture of the church. As God's people, we're still living here. We're still trying to serve God here on this earth, and we need the power that comes to us through the resurrection. We need the power to serve God effectively. That's available to us through the resurrection because God gives us access to his power. From Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19, verse 20, we know the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his great might, verse 20, that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Maybe one of the most valuable, one of the most important of all the many benefits of the resurrection is that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens and he is sympathetic to the feelings of our infirmities because he was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. So as a result of that, we can come with boldness to the throne of grace and, and obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I'm thankful that the resurrection means that we will rise again, but the resurrection also means that we have power from God, of God, to serve him as we live in this life on this earth. I'm thankful for the many benefits, for the many blessings that are ours because of Christ's resurrection. Aren't you? Amen. That's God's word for today, April 19. What will we do with it? Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, we thank you for the resurrection and all that it means. We thank you that Christ defeated death and came out of the grave, and we will also. And we're thankful that the resurrection also gives us power to serve you today, Lord. Even in this flesh and this body, we have power from the resurrection of Jesus to serve you because you have given us that power. You've given us the, the, the power that we need to serve you. And this body of sin can be destroyed because of the life of Christ. And we're thankful for that. 
Christ lives in us. We're grateful for that. Lord, bless your people to receive this and to be able to apply this and use this. We thank you, Lord, for all your help. Lord, touch your people. Continue to strengthen, give health, and give healing. Lord, you've helped us so many times in so many ways, and we ask for that one more time. Provide for us. I pray a blessing for your people. Let us be aware of your presence. I pray we'd be aware of your strong hand upon us. Lord, always knowing that you never leave us, you never forsake us, but you're with us. And, and we say thank you for that. We pray this in the name of your son. Amen. God bless you, church. Good to see you this, uh, this day, Monday. We had a great day yesterday in God's house. I know some of you couldn't join with us, but we prayed for you. Trust the Lord to encourage you and strengthen you. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, Tuesday. Have a great day. Enjoy the sun. It's a beautiful day. Take care.